this is the best I can do with this selfie stick propped up with other sticks. So I've got pollen strikes here, and, I, and I'm, I swear I've done this magazine for you guys already, so I'm not going to do it today, and I'll check my videos and make sure that I have indeed done it. And since I thought I was going to be doing this one-handed, I actually kind of pop, pop this out. But uh, this is Yard Magazine number five. It's been out for, excuse me, it's been out for about a month, maybe three weeks. Uh, it is the standard format uh, of the, uh, the Yard Magazine games, uh, but it has cards in it this time. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And they're each, uh, this, I guess these are special characters that have special abilities. I haven't read the rules, don't know anything about it. Talking out my out my hat, uh, you know, we're talking about a, you know, thin. They're the thin counters, and it's a nice look, nice artwork on the map. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty kind of cool. Square, squares, not hexes. And this is a, a sci, no sci-fi. This is an RPG style uh, fantasy game, and I have been very curious about. Um, Mr. Russell's ability to design games. He does a very, very good games, and quite frankly, I don't understand why more of these aren't being sold. I don't know how this is selling right now, but his Swords and Shields game uh, would literally give Saga a run for its money. That's how good it is. And if you're a Saga player and you have armies and you can go get some of that hex terrain stuff, you ought to be using his six pages of rules and cranking out some battles because it's freaking awesome. Okay, so there's, that's the game. Now, inside the magazine, uh, inside the magazine, No Holds Barred War and Strategy Gaming. As, uh, this is, I think that's a new tag that's been... No, it's on the other one as well, so it's been there for a while. I just haven't noticed it before. <laughs> So we've got some different reviews that are going to be done here. Uh, there is this uh, scenario design contest, which I helped adjudicate, and well, some other reviews. Let's have a look. Once again, yeah, just really cool uh, formatting by Tom or whoever does the work for Tom. This glorious uh, layout. Right, I'm just trying to put this so you can see it like that. Obviously you can't see the words, but still. I'm going to roll through these. I'm not going to get into the details. Uh, Ania does an article. Ania uh, is not a native English speaker, and she writes incredibly well, and I'm really proud of her. She's doing a great job. Talking, by the looks of it, about uh, map design. I don't know what this article's about. What is she doing? Uh... Confessions of a Professional Anchor's Placer. That's cute. Alright. And it doesn't hurt that she's easy on the eye as well. Smart and and cute. There you go. She's got it all going for her. Really like her artwork too. Uh, next, we've got an article Tom Russell. Tiny Victories or How Sausage is Made. So this is about game design. Interview with Jordan Weissman, and Jordan Weissman is an innovator and gaming legend responsible for ta tabletop RPGs, board games, and video games, and I've never heard of him. Uh, his newest business venture, Hairbrand Schemes, is responsible for a series of high-profile and very successful game gaming Kickstarters, uh, Shadowrun Returns, and Gollum Arcana. Blah, 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 blah design philosophy etc long interview here great photographs that will be a cool article to read about game design yeah oh i, I remember seeing this look there's just like 54 freaking expansions to that game it's pretty awesome and it has uh it's got this little pen and that pops up information on your ipad and tells you stuff <sighs> review of churchill done by wendell albright An alliance management game is what Churchill is. Very well defined, well thought out comment there. I'm excited about this game. I actually own this game. Look at me. I, got, I own a Euro. And I also own a Euro t-shirt. See that? 
Twilight Struggle t-shirt. You just can't get that anywhere, you know. Okay, in the Swamps of Madness, Shadows over Normandy. Oh, this is the zombie. And why, why, why are we doing this, people? Why are, we, why are we taking a perfectly fun World War II game and then making it even more comical than it already is with the zombie expansion? Whatever. Okay, the Combat Commander Decade. What is this about? Roger LaRoe. Now, you know, look, this magazine, guys, this magazine has got some amazing writers in it now. I mean, th you started out with Tom Russell and a couple of dudes, and now there's Roger LaRue. Well, Roger LaRue is Canadian. I mean, that's, this is international now. But I tell you what, Roger's a great writer as well, does a bunch of reviews on BGG, and has, you know, he's got his shtick down pretty hardcore, and he is a cool dude. Um... He doesn't know me from a hole in the ground, but he's a cool guy. So, I will bet that will be a great article. So, here I go. Look, I'm just crapping on here. Um, because I've been up for 23 hours, and I really don't know what I'm saying. And that's, I've only had this much beer. So, it's not the beer talking yet. Hang out for the next video. So, uh, fly, fight the blight, darkest night. Players, blah, 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 blah. John Burt. I, that's another guy from BGG whose name I know. I have no idea what that article's about. Some sort of. What is this? Cooperative. Something about a cooperative game. Now, Blitz and Whiff. Now, I am really interested in reading this because I bought this freaking game. I set it up. And then we had to do our flooring and to pack it up. And it took me a long time to set the freaking thing up. So I'm going to read this and see if it's worthwhile pulling back out. Or maybe I shouldn't read it and just play it. And then point, counterpoint with this. What do you think I should do? Should I read the article or not? Wendell Albright. Okay, people are driving up the driveway. They're lost. Uh, games we love. We've come to a... Or area majority VPN pillars. The Euro Star Ragnarok of Blood Rage. It's an article by Tom Russell. I don't know what that's about. Some game called Blood Rage with minis that are not painted. Okay. That's great. Noville. This is a contest. Oh, is this gonna be the winners? Okay, here we go. Ooh, let's see. Oh, here I go. I'm here. I said something. Okay, so Wake Up Neville, uh, the runner-up scenario for Upfront, came runner-up. Who else wrote? Who, someone told me I was the only guy that gave comments. Well, that's not fair. I thought that it was going to be me, Tom, and some other guys doing all the, like, the voting and shit for the contest. So, I'm sorry about that. If I pooed on your uh, scenario, they were all very interesting. I, uh, some of them, like Upfront, I did not play because they don't own the game. But I made my comments based on what I read about it and then had a look at the rules because I have a digital copy of Upfront. And uh, I uh, made my assessment of the scenario and the layout based on what I know about uh, uh, the, uh, the request or the requirement and kind of went from there. So don't be sad if you didn't win, okay? You all did a really good job. Running the gauntlet. Now, I thought this was a really, actually, very interesting scenario too. Okay, another, so, so basically they've given everybody a prize, what, runner-up, hang on, runner-up, runner-up, ASL, I use the SK rules, but that kind of counts, right, I mean, you know, uh, another ASL title, I remember, I remember this too, okay, well, 
what vampires we're at now. See, this combat, this combat commander scenario was actually pretty cool, and and it was also playable and manageable, man, man, a manageable amount of time. Let's see. Here's what I said about the winner: vehicles and combat commander! Exclamation mark. Well, I have to say that the cleverness of this is excellent. The initial meeting engagement seems to be a favorite <coughs> of the designers. This is a thoughtfully crafted scenario and really well done. The gameplay is tense with Fogg really messing up fire efforts and Sherman's busting up the Germans pretty badly. I tweaked this on a second play and made the Germans veteran and two extra half squads for, as, as the half squads are removed, forces weakened quickly. He didn't edit my comments, that doesn't sound right. Okay. So here we go. More scenarios, scenarios, scenarios for different games, campaign, a campaign for CNC Ancients. That's pretty cool. How long is this video? Freaking 11 minutes. That is a great shot. Can you see that? Okay. Prelude in the Weld Fiction by Tom Russell to kind of set the mood. And then the actual game. Now, here's the rules. Let's let let's see how long the rules are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages of rules, and then there's some scenarios and stuff. I am uh, I, I'm just really excited for Tom Russell. I think Tom Russell has done some really good work, and this is a great magazine. And you're a douchebag if you don't buy it. <sighs> What you are is um, uninformed, or something, or, or, or recalcitrant, or maybe you should just get up off your hiney and go over to the PC and click buy, or you're already at the PC. See, you might be watching on your iPad. Go buy the magazine and try it out, okay? It's not going to hurt you. It's $29 or something like that. It's not hard, right? And it's good reading. Don't worry about the game. Whether you like the game or not, it's not, it's not the thing. It's, Get the magazine, it's a good thing. Alright, later.